You're not Mexican. You're not Azteca. You're not Mestica. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. right. So how do we lose our heritage? How do we forget who we are? Let's get John 8 and 32. How do we forget our nationality? Because this is the word of God we're bringing out to you. We're bringing out thus saith the Lord. We're not coming with our own words. Right. We're not coming with our own rhetoric. Right. We're coming with the Bible, the Holy Scriptures. That's right. Because as a people Hispanics, we're the most religious people on the planet. We go to Mass on Sunday, but do we really have the true understanding of what is required? Do we really? We're going to find out. We're going to bring out the Word of God. Read that. John, John, 8 John chapter 8 and verse 32. Uh-huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Read that from the top. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hey, what's going on, fam? God, you got a minute? Yeah. You got a minute? What's your name, bro? William. William, okay. My name is Ariel. Nice to meet you, bro. Read that again. Let me, let me, I want you to hear this. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You see that? These are the words of Jesus Christ. He said, he sh you should know the truth, and the truth is going to make you what? Read it again. We need y'all to listen. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you what? Free. Make you what? Free. So what's the truth going to know? When you find out the truth, that's going to make you what? Free. Free. How so? Knowing the truth. Knowing the truth. That's good. We're going to get further on that. Let me get Romans 12 and uh, 12 and 2. Because Christ said you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Think about this. We go to Mass every Sunday. It's a, it's a church everywhere on Pilsen, a little village, right? But who's running the, the streets now? You got two six, you got Latin Kings, but yeah, you have a church everywhere. Where's it? Where's God at? Where's God at in Little Village? Where is he? How come our children are being killed, being abducted, our women being pushed in uh, feet, uh, sex trafficking? Right. How come our people down there in Mexico picking the coca plant, making the coca cocaine, and our people getting killed in the drug game, the cartels? But yet they profess God, right? It's no truth. Matter of fact, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with that. I want to show you something about the truth. Read that. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh-huh. And be not conformed to this world. Uh-huh. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your Buenos mind. Days, that ye may prove uh -huh. what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We're going to break this piece by piece, William, okay? Seth goes and talk to me, brother. We're here for you, man. we brothers, right? Come on, read that again. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. Don't. Don't set your mind on things that's going on in the world. Right. Because we've been pushed Catholicism. We've been pushed Easter, Christmas, all these things. Things that don't mean nothing to our salvation. Because guess what? Christ is coming back in these last days. You know we're in the last days, right? So in order for you to be delivered, in order for you to have a change, he said what? Be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. This world is evil. All the wickedness going on up and down Little Village. Pilsen. L.A., Chicago, Philadelphia, Miami, wherever you at. It don't matter. Who in the barrios? Who in the ghettos? Our people, right? You agree to that, William, right? Read on. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And, this, and the truth is going to make you free by you being transformed by the renewing of your mind, brother. You got to change your mind. You got to come back to what does save the Lord say. We got to come back to the true understanding of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. Because we have the picture right there. Look at that picture right there on the um, far, on this, uh, on my right, right, right here. I want you to look at it, okay? I'm, I'm, let, me, let me step over. I'm going to show you something. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Hey, see, uh, guess that's what? Guess that's what? Yeah. Who's, who's that? Jesus Christ. That's what we've been taught, Jesus Christ. But this is the true image of Jesus Christ, a so-called black man. Bring it up. That's the true image because Revelation 1 and 14 said he was a dark skinned man with woolly hair. But we're going to get to that. But I want to finish the first in Romans, okay? William, stay with me, brother. All right, bro. Because he said the truth shall make you free, all right? Go back to Romans 12. Book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh huh. And be not conformed to this world. Yes, sir. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to transform your mind, you have to change the way you think. That's what's going to make you free. The truth will do that, bro. But you got to accept the truth. Read on. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And once we come back to the truth of who we are, we're going to prove what's really good. Because that image, that's not good, bro. That white man image, and we ain't out here being racist rhetoric. No, we taking the truth. It's about the truth. It ain't about race. It's not a hate campaign. It's not a race campaign. It's a truth campaign. We out here saying the truth shall make you free. We've been commanded to come here and teach our people, to warn our people. He said the truth shall make you free. Read from the top. Come on. 
And be not conformed to this world. So don't be conformed to the don't be conformed to this world, brother. You know? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to change your thinking, bro. You know? By the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we got so by us changing our minds, coming back to what does the Lord does say if God say, we're gonna prove that keeping the commandments is good. We're going to prove these things, and right now we're going to teach you the commandments, okay? First, we're going to deal with the nationality part, because see you see yourself, you, do you see yourself, William? Yeah, everybody else over here. Mira. Come on. Ven, ven, ven. Ven aquí, por favor. Es importante. Listen, we have the 12 tribes of Israel, because again, for some of those who came, sister, we either teach that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We are the children of the Most High God. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. We're not black, we're not Puerto Rican, we're not Ecuadorian, we're not Mexican or Mastica or Azteca. We are the Israelites. So these are the 12 tribes right here, okay? And these are what the names that was pushed on us today, okay? So, wait, William, what's your nationality? Would you consider yourself Puerto Rican, Mexican, or what? Mexican. See right here? Mexican. The world calls you Mexican. Remember, you have to change your mind, bro. How can you be Mexican? You can't find Mexican in the Bible. Right. Where is that? You cannot find Mexican in the Bible. So who are we? If we proclaim to love God, if we proclaim to worship God, what does God call us? What's your name, sir? Okay, I, 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 one thing, Carlos. Let me ask you one thing. I'm still with you, William. So if we, if we proclaim to be godly people, where can we find Mexican at in the Bible? We can't. I know, you laugh because you, you thought about it, you can't. That's your answer right there. You had to think about it. I got you, brother. So God calls us Issachar, okay? The world calls us Mexican, but you are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. So, so how did we how did we come to being a Mexican? How? How so? Again, we got to renew our mind. Come back to what does say the Lord say. Let's get to that. Let's get to our nationality because believe it or not, this is our history book for the so-called black man, Hispanic, and Native American. This is our history book. Believe it or not. This Bible is for you. This is your book. That's right. Don't let nobody teach you your book. Don't let the priest tell you anything different. Right. You are an Israelite. You are the sons and daughters of God. So how did we become Mexican? Do you know any history about Moses? Carlos, you heard of Moses? You heard of Moses? What did he do? What was he known for? Part of the Red Sea? What else? Okay, but he also delivered a nation of people out of Egypt. You know who those people were? It was the Israelites. Right. All these... So these names right here, he delivered all these people out of Egypt with the hand of the Most High God. With the seven plagues and part of the Red Sea, he delivered us out of bondage. Believe it or not, this is spiritual bondage today, Egypt. This is modern day Egypt, uh, United States of America. Because this was our land at one point. But now we serve in our oppressors. We've been pushed religion. We ain't been pushed the truth. But that's all we had to try to give to you. Read Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Good. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. No, to the whole world. All Israel. To the Chinese man. All Israel. To the white man. All Israel. Believe it or not, we're not coming with our own rhetoric. We're coming with truth. This Bible is for you. Moses spoke these words unto all Israel, Brother William. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, bro. But what happened? How did you lose your nationality? How did you lose your, your, your knowledge of God? What happened? Read Deuteronomy 28, 15. Read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. Yes, sir. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read that one more time. This but is it Moses. But it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass, meaning it's going to happen in the future. Because remember, this was about 2000 around 1900 BC, okay? This is 2021 20, AD. So we're talking 4,000 years later. But he said it's gonna happen in future. Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Excuse me, what's your name, sister? I got a question, what's your name? I like to deal with by, by names, what's your name? Well, I got a question, don't worry about it. Gethi. Gethi. Gethi, okay. Gethi, read that part again. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What does it mean to not hearken to the voice? 
Yeah. What? You got to go, bro? Check you out the flyer? Yeah, I already got a flyer. You got a flyer? Check that out, bro. We're going to continue on. Let your ears be here. Let your ears, ears listen, okay? Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read them all the time. But it shall come to pass. So it's going to happen in the future. You so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to the words of the Lord, if you don't listen to the voice of the Most High God, if you don't hearken, if you don't listen, read. To observe to do all his commandments. No, all his religion. All his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. What? Curses. Come on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. How you doing, brother? You know you're an Israelite going to the Bible. Check that fly out, all right? It said it should come to pass if we didn't keep the commandments. That all these curses shall come upon our people and overtake our people. It didn't say nothing about religion. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. If we didn't keep the commandments, what was going to happen? All these curses will come upon us and overtake us as a nation of people. Right. Not just one person. Not just one nationality. As a race of people. What are these curses today? Jump down to verse uh, 32. 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This is one of the curses that happened to our people. The so-called blacks and Hispanics. It didn't just happen to the black man. It happened to you. Jeez. Read it one more time. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This happened in, in the past. It happened in 1492. Let's bring it up to speed today. What's going on in the border? What's going on with ICE? They're separating our children from our families, from our mothers and fathers. Teach. What are we reading? We're reading the Bible. The Bible is a true book. It's our yes, history. Right. Bring it up. I know we, we got the Channel 5 News. We got MSNBC. MSNBC. But this is the main news right here. This is the main news source right here. But you got to pick up the book and read it. Right. You got to be taught right. You got to know the truth, and the truth should make you free. Right. You got to change your mind. That's right. You can't read this Bible from the eyes of our oppressors. Bring it up. They conquered our people, and guess what? They gave us the same book. Teach. They yeah. told us we want people. No, we're God's chosen people, brother. Y'all know y'all brothers, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we are one nation. We got where we go figure that out. We go through the same atrocities. Our sons and daughters have been taken from us. In 1619 and 1492, let's bring up the speed. We're ice. They separate our daughters and sons from us. Yes, sir. They separate. They, they 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 take our children from us, and then they go through. They they have us do so much go through so much hoops hoops and hurdles to get our children back. Bring it up. Who does that? Bring it up. Who separates a child from a father and mother? What kind of evil is that? Very evil that is. But God said these will happen to us if we didn't keep the commandments. Y'all better wake up, come back to your nationality. This is our history book. That's right. Y'all need to figure out that the so-called black man, the so-called Mexican, the so-called Hispanic, Native American, we are one race. That's right. So when we talk about black history, it is Hispanic history. Bring it on. When we talk about Hispanic history, it is black history. Bring it on. That's right. We go through so much as a people, but we ain't yet figured out that we are the same people. Remember, Moses said that these laws, if we didn't keep the commandments, that all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Make sure y'all read that flyer. Let's get some curses. Let's get some laws. What laws did we break? What laws did we break? Let's get uh, the adultery, Romans, uh, Exodus 20. What laws did we break? We're going to bring out one law today that's privy in our neighborhoods today. You got it? Exodus chapter 20. In verse 14, uh -huh. thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not what? Commit adultery. Adultery. That was the law that was given to us that we didn't keep. And we still don't keep it to this day. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Adultery is when you step outside the realm of marriage. Right. Adultery is also when you have boyfriend and girlfriend. That's called fornication. Teach. God said marriage is honorable. Hold that go to uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. Remember, that was the law that we didn't keep. Some of y'all here, y'all have a relationship, y'all not even married. He said, thou should not commit adultery. Some of y'all out here, y'all go home late at night because the night before, you spent the night over who knows where. Bring it out. 
And then, and then had the audacity to not even take a shower. Mm. Filth. Read it. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Right. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is what? Honorable in all. Come on. In the bed under fire. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Read it from the top. Marriage is honorable in all. This is one of those that we need to keep. This is why we have single parent households. How can a single mother raise a, 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 a child, particularly a boy, and expect him to be a man? Teach. How? Every household needs a mother and a father. Don't you agree, brother? Every household must have a father and a mother. And this is one thing we don't keep today. That's why we oppress as a people. That's why we under the curses today as a people, not knowing who we are. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth